Hello everyone. So I mentioned before in previous videos that I wanted to uh, take a stab at raising the the platform of this device. I'm sure you guys have all seen how it comes on these little stands, which is pretty. In, uh, I don't know. It's just not good enough to me because I'm six foot two and uh, I'm bending at the knees just to get in here. Try not to mess my back up anymore. So I'm going to start a probably series of what I'm doing in order to raise this and modify it further. So let's see how it goes. So I, uh, I just mimicked all the pull positions while it was still in place. So I should be able to just push these tabs. All right, so a little bonehead mistake. Um, <laughs> they come out the front, so you can't really uh, pre-wire them. So it's pretty simple. Reds are on the top, blacks are on the bottoms. All right, everyone. So it's actually the next morning. I don't know if you can tell by my voice or by the coffee, but I convinced the wife to help me take the laser off the base last night. She wouldn't let me record it, so I'm not gonna argue with that. Uh, so we got the base off. Um, now I have a more understanding of like what's what's to be done here. One of the biggest things that I don't want to do is make the laser so tall that it introduces wobble. So um, I'm thinking of <clears throat> splitting the difference uh, larger caster wheel because now that I get a better look at it, these are I mean what do you expect um these are the same ones that are on my 3d printer my raised 3d printer almost maybe just a little bit larger so maybe I'll go check out Home Depot or Harbor Freight depending on where you live I'm not sure if you guys have those spots but this seems like a an interesting uh width for a caster so maybe even a urethane but you might have to do some custom mounting on there so my idea is these are millimeter. Oh, sorry, these are M8 125s. So uh, if you live in America, M uh, anything metric is super hard to come by unless you have a specialty store or you order online. I'm super impatient. So um, if you come back through the back here, you can see that it's just actually a nut that's welded on the back of this. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go for some 12 inch all thread because I want to raise it uh, probably five inches from this side out. So I'm going to come, let me put this down. So uh, maybe three eighths inch all thread. We'll just drill this out. Three eighths inch all thread, washer, nut, maybe some Loctite on the back with the all thread coming up. Um, wanting to explore some of the uh, possibilities with plastic because some of the mechanical engineers at my work were talking about um, just to just to keep the weight down um, instead of using metal in this area uh, to come up here um, use some sort of plastic uh, Delrin poly I mean any any sort of high strength plastic uh, any tube stock could work so it'd be cheaper to buy a tube stock uh, I'll probably do some research on uh, PVC as well because you know when you have a when you go across you, you can you can hold less weight but when you cut them into stands uh, you can get a significant amount of weight on something small so i um, gonna go to the hardware store I will pick back up when I get back and uh, see what I come up with okay so I went to Home Depot and this is sort of the concept I'm coming up with. So I am going to use PVC um, because the compressive load is really high. I'm not sure if I want to do one or two stacked. This kind of gives options for how high you want to do raise it. So basically it's going to go through bolt nuts to hold it down through the base here, through there using these reducers we'll come up through the reducer so hopefully this concept works you guys will see me flush it all out now also picked up these sick uh, 
wheels from Harbor Freight polyurethane two of them with brakes two of them normal swivels so let's see how this goes all right so here's one of the caster wheels installed um, obviously you can see that not all four bolts line up because you know I don't want to search and hunt down a direct replacement for these when I can just go down and get these these are only four dollars oh no these were five because they have the lock four dollars a piece there's a drawback though i mean they don't have bearings so you can see like if i if i spin it you have a little bit of sound as opposed to like some of the, oh there's weight on that one these are the originals you do get a smoother motion with them but they're so small and you know they're already getting torn up and i've only had the device what six to eight months i think so we'll try these out worst case scenario i'll replace them It's time to um, mount the standoffs, basically what they are. So just to recap, these are the two two inch PVC couplers with a reducer fitting. And then I uh, super glued a three eighths uh, washer in there just to make sure that the tolerance for the hole was um, a little bit tighter. So my, my plan is, um, I've already roughed up all the mating edges before I glued them. I'm gonna use this uh, JB Weld plastic bonder. So it's for plastic to metal. Um, I'm not relying on this connection right here to hold any weight. I'm just doing it so that when we lift the machine up, um, we're not fumbling around trying to hold spacers or hold screws up straight. So I'm just gonna put a little you know, light ring around here, put this up on here and um, and uh, bolt it down for about 20 minutes while it, while it cures, okay? All right, it's the next morning. And uh, here is the stand. I put it up on a table so I can sand these things, but you can see these PVCs held pretty well. They're epoxied down. Everything's looking good. I left one intact right here so I could take it apart. So, just for the gluing purposes, these are hand tight, so let's see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. I guess they're pinky tight, huh? So once you knock that off, the bolt will drop through. And out the bottom. If you have trouble getting this bolt through there, then um, just make sure that the hole in the top is a little bit wider. The time has come to lift this beast onto the extended platform. Oh, it's a little nerve wracking, so hopefully this goes fine. Gonna have the wife help me. Kind of got this idea that since this has always been flush all the way against the side here, I put the magnetic level. So at least when we're, at least when we're picking it up and moving it, we'll know when we've hit this edge. We're not gonna overshoot it and then miss these pegs. So, I don't know. Wish us luck. So there we have it. It is a lifted Ohmtech 100 watt. So the specs on the website say that it's 37 inches tall, which is not correct. I measured it, it's uh, 35 and a quarter originally. Now it's 42 inches tall. So six and ah, 6.75 inches taller. Almost got to that seven mark, but I'm glad I didn't because man, 
So yeah, um, pretty pleased with this one. Um, I didn't fill the chiller back up because it's time for the next mod. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you guys want to see anything else, uh, let me know. Talk to you soon. Thank you.